Hey y'all, this is Gordy coming to you on Thursday, February the 25th. It's hard to believe this month's already just about gone. There's a few days left. I'm getting me some exercise. You can see I've got different surroundings. My husband finally sweet talked him and taking my treadmill out of the living room, which was completely taking up half the living room, and putting it in my building. So out here, I have a little privacy and I can pretty much do my own thing. Of course, Haley's here with me. They talk to me, keep me company. I hadn't been faithful about getting on the treadmill like I should. So I'm gonna do it. I've noticed a lot of changes in my body and you know, my sister keeps saying I'm gaining weight. I don't think it's much I'm not gaining as my stomach is changing. I think it's uh going further down you know because the skin you know getting loose and hanging and you know, had a lot of stomach issues with um pain coming back from where i had that hernia surgery and that's not normal i don't think because it's been over a year now it's a year in december but anyhow uh been watching a lot of youtube videos and you know just trying to see different people in totally different lives um like actually i've been kind of watching about some transgender people and you know if you never really watch their stories it's very fascinating um i've seen some stuff that i thought was real strange but then again you know i'm not one to judge or make a call on anybody because you know I may be strange looking to them uh, you know we're all created equal and you know it's your right if you want to go from male to female or female to male and you know it's just uh, one of those things I guess um, nothing else really going on a whole lot I just been uh, uh feeling my age you know this cold weather the temperature keeps changing here in georgia uh one day it's 70 next day it's 46 or 30. it's kind of strange you know so i got a kind of like a, a little jacket top deal on because i don't have heat out here and of course i run extension cord to uh run my treadmill i don't want it gathering dust what else uh Nothing else is new that I'm think of. Uh, I keep questioning myself sometimes if I made the right choices in my life. <clears throat> Not only with you know being married more than one time, um, different uh, aspects of a career, which I'm disabled now and even trying to do anything, my nerves get the best of me, uh, my arthritis, which I keep pushing myself. Um, I ask myself a lot about the surgery, especially when I'm having those bad days, and then where I had the, uh, a little bit of complications, but you know, I think a lot of it is my own fault, you know, for suffer suffering some complications like when my bowel got twisted, I think that's where I dehydrated. And it was my own fault because I wasn't drinking my water. But I've been trying to get my get my fluids in. Let me get a sip. I'm noticing just about the honeymoon's over as far as you know my weight loss surgery because going on three years, be three years in July. Can't believe it's been that long. I'm very proud of my progress. I keep thinking, well, I should have been down under 200 and way down smaller. But you know what? Even when I got down to 212, seeing myself like that, it was very strange because I've never been thin. I've always been overweight. Uh, 
I didn't consider myself extremely overweight until I got way up there, 260, 270, 300, 355. You know, I was um, fighting a battle. I have a friend, she's up to about 320. She's only, I think she's 36, 37. So she's completely to the point of being disabled. She can't do nothing for herself. She can barely take steps. Uh, and I, I keep talking to her, trying to help her. You know, keep telling her I know how it is. I've been there to the point of being disabled. You know, they've got her taking uh, all these shots and treatments and stuff that lays her up for a while. And she has two younger kids, just like I do, but hers is, you know, her biological children that she can't even take care of because of her body and her disabilities. You know, I just try to uh, tell her what I can because I'm not going to shame her or anything um she says her mom stays on to her enough about her weight but she always eats candy and stuff like that i mean i think it's a nervous habit for her to be eating something or or smoking a cigarette and it's to me it's it's a hard uh, habit so um Sorry, I don't really have a whole lot of interest in stuff to say. I just want to check in and say hi. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. I'm going to finish this work out. I'm halfway there. Woohoo! I'm going to get back to going back to the gym um, on a steady basis like I was. I really like to keep my membership at the status where I could have enjoyed the, um, the lounge and all that but I cut it down there's only ten dollars instead of the 20 because I can't afford that I meant you know on a small disability income it's not easy especially if two kids take care of without any support from the uh, biological mother okay well y'all have a good evening love you and I'll talk to you later bye